Hey, it's been a while since I made a video and I'm getting caught back up. Uh, they're still sitting here. I actually turned them on the other day for the first time, cycled them through and everything seems to be okay. Just other, just a few things coming up from sitting forever, but some of you might know, let's see if I get in frame here, what this is. Maybe I should put it over here so you can see it better. On this machine here, it goes up underneath here and this this wheel thing here which mine is missing it's just the knob sticking out rides across this and this one hasn't had one for a long time and it's starting to score score this track a little bit I'm hoping I don't have to tear the whole thing apart and I can just take this off. There's a screw right there. Looks like it's been messed with before. I said it was a donated part and I was excited to get it. So thank you for that. And I need to replace that wheel. And it's in a bad spot. I was going to show you where it's at. You're not around these all the time, you forget how the things work. Where in the world? Can't see it from here, maybe I can see it from the back side. see it on the other one either so what I got lined up now if you've been following me on Instagram I got synthetic lanes they're pretty similar ones thicker than the other one they're not gonna match this surface it's gonna look like that but I mean it's just it's like a bowling lane I think they're 10 foot long those were donated too very excited tell the other one the one on the bottom is gonna match the one on top does not and they're different thicknesses I'm not too familiar with these you can tell that one's a little bit thicker than this one and I think they have plugs or something you put in there one but I gotta build the frame to put these on maybe 10 foot and I gotta do a ball return I think I'm, for now I'm just gonna use a Two by fours and let's make a frame for it. Cut this one down. You see all the masking units are jammed there on the side. I want to get those moved so they don't get damaged. And then the old plywood is right there. I'll probably rip those down and make shelves or something out of them. They're starting to cup a little bit from not being stored flat. I'll see if I can get a picture of that little wheel. You can't see it. This one's okay. It's got the little rubber wheel on there. Whatever you call that mechanism. I'm going to have to get the book out and look at it. I don't want to drop that because that piece will come in handy. Oh, it's right there in the center. I doubt if you'll be able to see it. I may have pointed this out in other videos. Uh, 
These machines have a funny smell to them. Smells like the bowling alley. Naturally, because they've had all that. I need to get a flashlight. So I gotta tear into that and see if I can't replace that piece. It's just a little knob that wheel it turns on those grooves. And it tells the the tour mechanism where to stop. I should have brought a flashlight out here with me. I guess some other updates. The circuit breaker on this one is sticking, so I try to unscrew it from the top, or I always unscrew it from the top, so I know there's no power to it, so it doesn't cycle when I'm inside the machine, but I'm not going to turn it off anymore from the circuit breaker because it's it's sticking, and I don't want to have to replace that, so I'm just going to leave it in the on position. It doesn't want to re-engage. Probably just because it's old. Uh, another update. Now this machine over here I had trouble with. With it wanting to not cycle properly when it was cold. It's like the first couple times it needed to move. Well, I figured out the problem was it was the belt. It's one of those link belts that you put together. I've showed it before. Right here. It's this stuff. You link it together. Well, that was... It was too loose and it was making that slip, the clutch. So once it got warmed up, it was fine. But the first couple times you cycled it, it wanted to slip and wouldn't, wouldn't want to cycle. And so I tightened that up. My problem is I got a couple bad spots. So I also received a donated belt. Hold on here a minute. So this belt here... Should fit on the back there. I hope it's the right length. If not, I'll just have to go up and get like a lawnmower belt or something to fit on there. Focus on the shade. Shadow. I guess there's different sizes. But that'll work out perfect for that. I do have a spare so when that belt does come apart, I can keep it going. And I'm gonna get all this junk cleaned out from behind here. I got too much stuff behind the machines. I still have all the used pins. I'm gonna try some twister pins, but you guys tell me what you think about those. I've heard yay and nay, and I think the garage bowling guy, he's tried twisters. I think he said he had 19 pins and they threw a sub in on the one video I watched. So my next project is to get these synthetic lanes. That'll be the next video. Ready to go so I can start bowling. Oh, and then I gotta fix that. That over there on that machine. I think it's raining. So there they are. They're still here. We'll get these synthetic lanes up and then get the gutters done. And should be ready to bowl then again after that. Alright, thanks for watching.